What's up, it's Chris Harrier. Today I'm gonna to be taking you through a complete full body workout routine that anyone can do. All we'll need is a pair of dumbbells or something heavy that you can find to lift around your house to start getting some real results right now. I'm gonna skip all the talking and get right into this routine. Just know that we're gonna be hitting every muscle group within our body by doing this workout from our chest, arms, shoulders, back, core, glutes, quads, hamstrings, calves, and then many other muscle groups in between. And you're gonna see results from this workout routine, not just looking strong, but actually being strong, whether you're a beginner or an advanced athlete. What makes this workout routine most difficult is the intensity on how you do each exercise. And for all my beginners out there, I'm gonna be giving alternative exercises that you can do instead to continue on the routine if a particular exercise is too difficult. And to get the best results in the shortest amount of time possible, the way I've been personally doing it for years, we're gonna be incorporating high intensity interval training. This is a training method that got me personally the most shredded and athletic. So we'll be doing each exercise back to back, 45 seconds straight with a 15 second break in between. And doing high intensity interval training is gonna create an afterburn effect that's gonna have you continue to burn calories throughout the day, even after you finish working out. And if you're really trying to get shredded and dialed in, then every bit of those calories are gonna count and get you closer to your goals. So if you're ready to get started, to properly follow along and to schedule this workout in the future at any time, just download the Harrier Pro app in the App Store or Google Play Store, or you can find the link down in the description below. If you've already downloaded the Harrier Pro app, smash that like button for some motivation and let's get this workout started. But first, I'm gonna take a shot of my Ketone IQ. I've been drinking it for a couple weeks now. Most people don't know about it, but this is an absolute game changer. It's the secret weapon to getting through intense workout routines just like this. And it's not a pre-workout or energy drink. This is actually ketones in liquid form, the purest available. It gives you insane endurance as well as super mental clarity and focus to get intense workouts just like this done effortlessly and a whole lot more. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a shot. We're ready to get started. So let's get right into this routine. We're gonna start off with chest, isolating each pec with assisted push-ups. For my beginners out there, you can do this on an elevated surface. That's gonna alleviate a lot of your body weight and resistance so that we're all able to do this exercise together. And over time, you can lower that elevated surface until you're doing it on the ground. So everybody else, let's get down on the ground. We're gonna put one arm out on your fingertips, right down and back up. We're doing this for time. So 22 seconds, each arm. I want to see perfect form. If you can put that arm out even more, not bend it, even better. Last five seconds. Two, last one. All right, switch arms. Of course, if it's too difficult to keep your arm all the way out, you can get closer. Whatever your level is at, last five seconds. Three, two, last one. All right, go ahead and shake that off. 10 second break. We're gonna continue to compound our chest with the next exercise coming up. That's gonna be explosive push-ups, a bit more intense. But these are the exercises that I use to grow my chest and my pushing power. For all my beginners, do this on an elevated surface. Let's get down, go all the way down, press and explode. Almost there. Control and pace yourself. Get that full range of motion. All the way up, all the way down. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, let's go ahead and shake that off. We got a good pump in our chest as well as our triceps, but the next exercise coming up is gonna work the split as well as our upper chest. We really prioritize our triceps. That's gonna be tricep extensions. For my beginners, you can do it from your knees, lower down, and come right back up. And then lower down with both. Whichever progression works best for you and your fitness level. Even if you're in this position, you can always come up with one or the other and then work the negative down with both. That's gonna build your strength up. You can never do these just like this. Now, the closer your hands are to you, the more difficult it's gonna be, the more you're working your triceps. Squeeze your core. Don't slam yourself down. Control the negative as well. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, last one. All right, let's go ahead and shake that off. 
now we're ready for the dumbbells. Next exercise you're gonna go into is a killer for your triceps. That's gonna be overhead tricep extensions. After this exercise, we're gonna have hit all the heads within our triceps. So you wanna bring it up behind your head, all the way down, all the way back up. We're gonna go 22 seconds for each side. Get full range of motion, squeeze your core. Make sure the elbow is pointed straight up. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go ahead and switch it. Squeeze your core. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we've officially hit our chest and our triceps. Now we're gonna be moving on to our shoulders with the next exercise, rear delt flies. Emphasizing on our rear delts, of course, as well as different areas of our back. Let's get into position. Feet together, back straight. Dumbbells together, come all the way out. Full range of motion. Squeeze your back every time you come up. Control. Squeeze, regulate your breathing. Squeeze your core. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, last one. All right. We are flying through this routine. We're officially completed one fourth of this workout. Coming up next, we're gonna complete the rest of our shoulders, exercising on our anterior and lateral delt and areas of our back as well with pipe push-ups. So let's get down into a push-up position. From here, I want you to walk up from your tiptoes to a pipe position. You're gonna come down, put the crown of your head and push up. By complete beginners, you can just hold this position or just do little presses. Everyone else, just go full range of motion. Lean forward, bring that crown down. See at the tip of your toe. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, there you have it. Completely smashed our shoulders. Coming up next, we're gonna emphasize our back with one of my favorite dumbbell exercises, bent over dumbbell rows. So let's go ahead and grab our dumbbells. Have your feet shoulder width apart, your big chest. Come down, you're gonna go into a deadlift. Once your hands are by your shins, I want you to row all the way up. Touch your chest if you can. Squeeze your back, come down. Control the dissension as well as the ascension. Squeeze that core. Halfway there. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two. Squeeze that last one. There you have it. We just engaged our back and our biceps as well, but now we're really gonna finish off our biceps with twisting hammer curls. It hits both your long and your short head in your bicep, as well as your brachialis. So let's go ahead and grab our dumbbells. We're gonna do a hammer curl all the way up, and then we're gonna twist out, come back. So all the way up, twist out, come back. The big chest, shoulders up, squeeze your core. So all the way up, twist out, come back. Stay strong, a solid grip, almost there. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, last one. All right, let's 
Put these down. Now we're gonna start moving into our abdominals. Time to get the six pack popping. We're gonna be moving into Russian twists with the dumbbell. For my complete beginners, you can do this exercise body weight or you can use your dumbbell and bring your feet up. Go side to side. If this is too difficult, you can always bend your legs. If you keep your legs straight, you're gonna be emphasizing even more on your core. So keep going. Stay strong. Squeeze that core. Regulate your breathing. Here we go, last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna move into our last abdominal exercise and then we are officially halfway done with this routine. Coming up next is gonna be crunch dumbbell reach ups. So real quick, let's catch our breath. Breathe in through our nose, out through our mouth. Let's grab our dumbbell. Heels flat on the ground. We're gonna touch behind us. Come up, press up. Here we go, we're almost there. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, last one. All right, there we have it. We are officially halfway done with this workout routine. I'm gonna give you guys one minute rest before we start onto the second half, completing our entire lower body now that we've fully completed our upper body. And if you noticed, I've been flying through this workout routine with ease, although I've been training intensely and I haven't stopped, all thanks to the Ketone IQ. This is a complete game changer and a secret weapon for endurance training, it gives me mental clarity and focus that has me flying through these workout routines. And what does this for you is the ketones and the Ketone IQ. Your body naturally produces ketones when you go into a ketosis state by cutting out carbs for a significant amount of time. And your body uses ketones as an alternative fuel source instead of carbs. But with Ketone IQ, you can get the benefits of being in ketosis by consuming ketones without completely cutting out carbs and losing out on the benefits of carbs as well. You're not gonna feel the same every single day with the same strength, energy, and drive. So anything that allows you to stay consistent is gonna allow you to make steady progress, and that's what Ketone IQ does for me. So if increased endurance, heightened focus, and even appetite suppression is something that you're looking for, then you should definitely pick up some Ketone IQ at hvmn.com. When you go and purchase yours, take the post-purchase survey and let them know that Chris Harry has sent you. Now that you guys have had your one minute break, we're gonna go ahead and finish off the second half of this workout routine, completing our lower body. First exercise, we're gonna emphasize on our glutes and hamstrings, as well as our back, rear delts, and biceps with deadlift, bent over rows. Let's go ahead and grab our dumbbells, feet shoulder width apart, big chest, come down to the shins, row, and back up. Down to the shins, row, back up. Almost there. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. There you have it. Deadlift bent over rows. Coming up next, we're gonna continue to emphasize on our lower back, glutes, hamstrings, even our core and a bit of our calves with single leg Romanian deadlifts. So we're gonna take one dumbbell. It's gonna be just like a deadlift, but we're gonna be using one leg. Put the other hand on your hip, squeeze your core, lower down to your shin, and back up. This is too difficult, you can also hold something for assistance with your opposing arm. Last couple seconds. Three, two, and one. Let's go ahead and switch. Last 10 seconds. Five, 
four, three, two, last one, bring that leg up, and down. There we have it. Should feel those hamstrings and your glutes burning right now. We're gonna keep moving on. Next, we're gonna emphasize on our quads, hamstrings, glutes, calves, and even our core with switching lunges. You can do it with no weight as a complete beginner. You can even just walk it out if you have bad knees. But for everyone else, hold in a goblet. And let's go for it. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we are flying through this routine. Coming up next, we're gonna do one of my favorites, curtsy lunges. Emphasizing on our glutes, quads, hamstrings, calves, and even our core as well. For my complete beginners, you can do this without a dumbbell. For everyone else, we're gonna start with dumbbell on the right hand, right leg, we're gonna lunge behind and back up. You can come to the starting position, or you can just stay here, which will be a lot more difficult. 22 seconds each leg. Squeeze your core. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go ahead and switch it. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. There you have it. Whew, should definitely be feeling those legs by now. We've officially completed three fourths of this workout routine. We just have five exercises left. Coming up next, we're gonna get into lunge kickbacks, emphasizing on our glutes, our hamstrings, quads, calves, and our core. For this exercise, weight is gonna be completely optional. Just go at your own pace. We're gonna start in a lunge position. Lunge up, bring the leg up and back down. 22 seconds. Squeeze that glute every time you bring it up. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go ahead and switch it up. Bring that leg up. Squeeze that glute every time. Five, four, three, two, last one. All right, coming up next, we're gonna burn out our legs with squat taps, emphasizing on our glutes, quads, calves, and core again. After these squat taps, we just have three more exercises. So we're all gonna do this exercise together. We're gonna start with our feet together. Jump out, touch the ground, touch back in, and repeat. Alternate each arm, go down, and explode up. Squeeze your core. This plyo is really gonna work good for your glutes as well. Stay strong, almost there. Regulate your breathing. Five, four, three, two, and last one. All right, we officially just have three more exercises to go. I want you to give it everything you got. Let's get down to the ground. We're gonna be going for glute bridges. That's gonna emphasize on our glutes, of course, as well as our hamstrings. So I'm gonna take this weight, put this on my hips. We're gonna drive our heels into the ground and raise. 45 seconds straight. Make sure to squeeze your glutes every time you get to the top. Really squeeze them. If you don't open up your legs, you'll hit and emphasize on other parts of your glutes as well. Almost there. 
Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and last one. All right, there you have it. Last two exercises, side squats coming up. That's gonna really work our quads, as well as our glutes and our calves, a bit of our core and back as well. We're just gonna be using one dumbbell, but that's completely optional. We're gonna start with the right leg first, take a step out. Opposing leg is gonna stay straight, come all the way down. Toes go up on the opposing leg. 22 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go ahead and switch it up. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, last one. There you have it. We're down to the last and final exercise. We're gonna finish off, completely burn out our legs and our calves, some good old fashioned dumbbell calf raises. I want you to give it everything you got. Don't hold back on this last one. Shoulders back, go all the way up, all the way back down, full range of motion. Control every single rep. Went for 45 seconds. Stay strong. Squeeze the grip on the dumbbells. Squeeze your calves every time you get to the top. Squeeze your core. We're almost there. Last 10 seconds. Give it everything you got. Five. Don't give up, four, squeeze, three, squeeze hard, two, last one, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Whew, all right. We just flew through this routine. As you can see, I am drenched in sweat, but my endurance and energy level is through the roof and I'm super focused. It really feels like I took the limitless pill in liquid form. So I gotta give a shout out to Ketone IQ. I'm not getting any commission off of this at all. I just wanted to put you onto something that's gonna actually bring you some real results. In fact, I wanna put this to the test. The next video I upload, I'm gonna train really intense, do some hard advanced calisthenics exercises, maybe even with the weight vest on. And we're gonna see how far I can push my strength, skills, and limits after drinking Ketone IQ. And when you pick up your own at hvmn.com, make sure to let them know that Chris Harry has sent you in the post-purchase survey. I can't wait for you guys to start feeling what I feel, start training to the maximum potential, and start seeing way more results. And congratulations to getting through this workout routine with me. You're on your way to building a solid physique, and not just looking strong, but actually being strong. We just worked out every muscle in our body in only 20 minutes with just a pair of dumbbells and some space on the floor, so there's never any excuses. And the more you do this, the more shredded and stronger you're gonna get. Eventually, you're gonna be able to go for more rounds. So for those of you that can, to get the maximum benefits, you wanna be able to go for at least one more round, or you can just do it again one more time throughout the week. So make sure to Save this video and come back to it later on this week to ensure that you're gonna see significant progress. And don't forget to schedule this workout from your phone at any time and to properly follow along as well as track your stats and progress. Just download the Harriet Pro app in the App Store or Google Play Store or just hit the link down in the description below. You're also gonna get full access to all my personal workouts and workout programs that I create with specific goals in mind, like building solid lean muscle while getting shredded simultaneously. So if you want me as a personal trainer right in your pocket, make sure you've downloaded the Harriet Pro app. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and the workout, please smash that like button. It really helps YouTube share our videos to more people out there and to show my appreciation if you comment down below within 30 minutes of any upload you're always going to have a chance to win some hairy apparel so make sure you hit the subscribe button right now with bell notifications on so that you never miss out on a video i post every single thursday between 11 a.m and 2 p.m and for more of my content throughout the week make sure you're following my instagram that's chris Haria, as well as my tiktok on all my platforms i always do some type of giveaway so if you want a chance to be a part of that make sure you're following liking and subscribed and with that said guys i love bringing these workouts to you over the years and seeing all your body transformations and the insane results if there's another workout you'd like to see me cover or exercise, topic, anything at all, let me know down in the comment section below and I'll make sure to make a vlog about it. And I'll see you next Thursday. Mad love and peace out.